Welcome back to another Aegisub tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use the karaoke feature of Aegisub, which lets you create uh, subtitles or like lyrics, um, text that you can put on top of music videos, uh, and it'll actually follow along so the words change color um, in kind of in beat with the uh, music. So, first of all, we need to get some audio uh, brought in here. So I'm going to go to audio and go open audio file. And I have this, uh, just a short piece of a Daft Punk. I found this on archive.org. I hope my video doesn't get flagged for it. So it's got just this, uh, this piece. It's a live recording of a, like a Daft Punk concert. Um, and I'm going to, I have the lyrics here somewhere. <clears throat> Let me see here. Yeah, so I have the, the actual lyrics here in a text file. And so I'm just going to copy this first line where it says buy it, use it, break it, fix it. I'll go control C and I'll move this off the screen. We'll close this and I'm going to paste that. I'm going to find where it first starts talking about that. I'm going to left click up here in the audio. And I'm going to right click over here and just play just this selection by hitting this play button here. So I did that pretty perfectly actually just by looking at the sound wave. <clears throat> and so that's exactly where we need to be. So we come here into this box and go right click and go paste. Uh, and then the lyrics, uh, those words will appear during this section of audio that I have selected here. And to get that to actually change and update, I need to click this button here. And now it's going to be from 2.59 seconds to 4.56 seconds. It will display this buy it, use it, break it, fix it text on the, the video. Now I don't have a video yet, so I need to actually put in a video. I could bring in a music video, some sort of an animated background, but for right now I'm just going to click video and go use dummy video. So we'll just keep these settings. You might need to change it. You can select this drop down here. I'm doing 1920 by 1080 and I'll hit OK. And that gives me this nice blue, um, just a screen that I can put my lyrics right on top of. So if we click, let's see here. So there they are. They're really small. I'm going to click the edit button. We'll change just the font size up to 100 and hit apply. And now we can see there's the uh, words that are displayed during that part of the song. And now the next part of the song, if we um, click down here, we can go to the next part and it automatically takes the same size of the last block that I did and it projects it on the next, it's, it estimates the next one's going to be about that same length. So let's listen and see. Perfect. So we just grab the next part of the lyrics. I'll highlight them, right click and go to copy. And then we'll come down here and I'll just go right click paste. And so yeah, everything looks good. They appear on the video. They appear here. I'll come back here and I'll play just the video. Okay, perfect. We didn't have to commit that time because it automatically it did it perfect for us, which is great because it's a very this is a very rhythmic song. So. Um, Okay, so we see that. Now, the problem is it's not following along, right? It's just playing the video and it's just showing the lyrics. Well, what we want to do is have these light up different, um, uh, have them change color as it gets to that part of the song. So to do that, there's actually a button right here. If you hover over it, it says toggle karaoke mode. It's not clicked yet, but if we click it, it makes these lines appear because we were clicked on this first line here. So it takes this line and it draws these yellow dotted lines and it puts the whatever words are in here that are separated by a space is where it draws the yellow line. Everywhere there's a space, a yellow dotted line is drawn. It, over here we can toggle the the size so we can kind of zoom in here a little bit and see what's happening more. So right there we can see buy it, use it, break it, fix it. And we can play and listen to that part. It's pretty close. I, I could I can change the timing. So if I grab uh, here, if I hover over the line and left click, I can change kind of the spacing of where, where that word is. Um, but nothing's happened in the video yet. If we play the video, it still just looks the same. Nothing's lighting up yet because we haven't committed these changes. And to do that, it's not this check here. It's not this check here. It's actually a new check. You see the words appeared here. When we click karaoke mode, it created some new words right down here a new place to put the text separated by, by a blue line and we can either commit these splits or we can just not commit but if we click commit it changes down here puts some stars in here it kind of puts some interesting code in some curly brackets and now when we play the video that's all going to be uh, it's going to light up differently see that I'll make it bigger so just in case you're not seeing what's happening there Break it, fix it. 
There we go. And what it's doing, it's lighting up whatever color we told it to be. If we go into edit, that's the secondary color here. So if we change the secondary color to green and go apply, okay, and apply, uh, now it'll be green the, when it gets to that part of the, when it plays those words. So that's pretty cool, huh? And if we want to, uh, we'll, come, we'll come down to the next line here because it's not timed yet. I mean, it's kind of timed, but it's not working with the karaoke. We can scroll over with the karaoke part and change these words. So now, the, they're separated by the yellow lines. I can play and watch the playhead progress and kind of see if I'm getting it timed correctly. So that one's a little bit laggy, I think. I feel like, um, I feel like maybe this, these need to move over here a little bit and this upgrade part needs to be kind of spaced differently like this maybe. Perfect. Now I'm going to commit those. So I check this, I hit this button here and it makes it so that all this is changed. So now when we play, cool. And then we go back to the very beginning and see what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? Um, one more thing you can do, you can actually create further divisions. So if we go right here, we can create a further division. I'm going to change this actually. I just realized maybe if some people are like kind of colorblind or something that the green could be throwing you off. So um, we can actually change this even further. If we come up in here where it says this this upgrade, trash it, change it, we can click. So if I click between the up and the grade, it'll separate those two. Now up will light up red and then grade separately as it gets to that part of the timing. Oh, I didn't commit. So hit commit, now it'll do it. See that, so up and then grade was separate. And something kind of cool that I like to do, I can actually create a division between every single letter. Um, oops, how do I get over here? So now it's going to kind of roll along there when we will commit those changes and watch the upgrade is going to kind of roll along one letter at a time. See? Kind of cool, huh? And I mean, you could do that with the whole thing if you want. Some karaoke actually does separate out every single little letter and it's um so that's an option too so there you have it um we'll look a little more in in a probably maybe the next tutorial we'll look at actually changing you can kind of change this and spice it up a little bit more so it's not just changing color there's some some more options we can do there but uh, this should get you started in using the karaoke mode um, and um, I will say down here, so the K I think stands for karaoke on the curly brackets, and the number is the length of the pause. So we see this trash word is 32. I don't know if it's milliseconds or what it is, but it's some sort of, it's a time unit. And then the five, the I of it is only five, and the K is 16. So we see these numbers correspond directly. So you can manually get in here and change it afterwards, but I wouldn't recommend doing it down here in the code. I would recommend doing it up here on the uh, using the graphical tools. Hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.